y'all and welcome back. I'm so excited to share my mantle with y'all this year. Okay, so I loved last year's mantle. It was beautiful. I absolutely loved everything about it. And so this year I wanted to do something different because I wanted to use my chickens. <laughs> I brought them into the living room um, earlier on and I've used them on my mantle and I really love them. And so I wanted to use them. So that kind of sparked this idea for this year's mantle and I love it. It's a little bit extreme. It's a little bit over the top for me. It might not be for some of y'all, but for me, it's like, oh my goodness. But when the idea hit me, I just had to go with it and I love it. Um, I did not buy anything new for the mantle this year. Everything is stuff I already had. I just relocated it to the mantle and used it in different places. And I kind of used a little bit of last year's idea to kind of start this year. Anyway, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, if you haven't seen last year's mantle, I will link that video down below. It's absolutely beautiful, a completely different look. And to me, they're, they're both beautiful in their, each their own way. And this is the second year that we've had this mantle, this fireplace built-in area that I've been able to utilize and decorate this and I'm loving it. I just love it so much. So, when I get through showing you the mantle, I'm gonna show you how I've decorated the living room and my bookcases. I love them. I did something a little bit different on each shelf just to kind of make it all flow. Didn't go over the top. I did a little bit, you know, on my coffee table. And in my previous video, I showed you how I decorated the kitchen, the hallway, and the completion of the guest bath. So that's really all the decorating I did. I still have my front porch and back porch to do, but that'll come later on. And, oh, Buster's making an appearance. Buster! He's fixing to be getting festive too. He has a new collar coming in that'll be here today or tomorrow and he'll be looking all festive with his collar. But if you happen to be new here and they just, the YouTube threw this video up into your feed, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you'll stick around. We have a lot of fun over here on this channel. No two days are the same. Um, vlogs, day in the life, thrift hauls, thrift flips, James, <laughs> need I say more? And the mama. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy and you'll stick around. Okay, I'm gonna hush and get on to the video. Okay, I wanna share what I've done so far in case I like it and I don't wanna take it down or recreate it. So I've just put my pine garland all along the top. I strung in a string of fairy lights that plug in. I do have a cord that plugs. So I've done that and now I'm starting to put in some of these oak leaves and I'm going to just go with my idea and we will see how it works. So I have all of these to put in there and then I have some more of that greenery, some of these acorn picks and then I have another idea. So let's just see how it works. I also put my chicken and my rooster on this riser that I made, and we've got to disguise all of that. But this is with all the oak leaves in there, or whatever kind of leaves they are. I'm saying oak because here in the South, that's what we have. We don't have the beautiful colors that some of y'all get, so I'm trying to mimic like our ball. <laughs> and I loved my mantle last year when I used the turkeys. But this year, I wanted to use my chickens, so I'm going to try something a little different, you know. So there we go. That's how that's looking. Okay, I just added two garlands of this to kind of disguise the riser, but I think with everything else, all that's going to be disguised. But that is with this put in it, just scattered about, some hanging, just stuck in there. And so now I'm going to go in and add these picks randomly. I have five of them. So we're just gonna go stick them in. And there it is with the little acorn picks stuck in there. They're just sporadic, no rhyme or reason. I just try to stick it in there, you know, as evenly as possible. I have three of these and they have the little pumpkins and the acorns. I'm just gonna kind of scatter them about and go from there. And there we have one 
there. Go on down. We have one here. And we have one here. Now I'm going to bring out my pumpkins and just start playing with those. As you can see, well, mine is this. This will be something different. <laughs> But as you can see, I have a ton of pumpkins here. I have all of these pumpkin picks. I have one of these, I have another little pumpkin here. I just have a bunch of pumpkins. Plus I have all of these pine cones. Um, and I also have these beautiful, I love these sunflowers from Hobby Lobby. So I have a few of those as well. So now we're gonna start adding a little bit of fall color to the mantle now that we have our base. Okay, y'all, I think I'm done. How does that look? Oh my gosh. I love it. I have added pine cones, the sunflowers. I added pieces from that arrangement from Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, that I thrifted. Added the pumpkins that was in it. And this is what it looks like. Okay, when you walk in, this is the view you will get of the living room and the mantle. And you may even get to see Buster sitting there on his perch. <laughs> but I was going to share with you how I have our living room decorated because I went kind of simple because, hello, that's not. I do have the fireplace on, not the heat, just the flames. I love how it looks, but we are nowhere near fireplace weather right now, but it does make for a pretty video and picture. So my bookcases, I decorated each one. I tried to make it where they would kind of flow in with the mantle, not compete with the mantle. So I'm gonna show you each shelf and uh, let you see how I decorated each one. So we'll start here, very simple, brass candlesticks, pumpkin, fall greenery, and my vintage plate, and that completes that shelf. I mean, the old books, they stay there all the time, but they're perfect too. Then the next shelf, pumpkins, pine cones, that garland, a little pumpkin pick, turkeys, books, and a beautiful little picture. And to me, that just kind of flows into that. Does it compete? This shelf is kind of a play on what I did last year on my mantle. My beautiful turkeys, another thrifted print, greenery, acorns, pine cones, pine, just beautiful. This shelf, I just put some fall greenery, took down the little music box that kind of didn't go. And again, it just kind of, it's pretty, but it's not competing. And then the very top shelf, just a piece of fall greenery and a vintage plate. And that completes this side. And I love it. I just love how it just kind of all flows, you know? And then over here, we have 
First of all, this beautiful chair, I've had it for so many years. I don't even know how long I've had it. It came from Kirkland's years ago. Velvet green pillow, little stool. I just love the way this looks. And then for this shelf, a piece of fall greenery foliage. This shelf already has a fall look to it anyway. So I left it, I just swapped out the greenery. This shelf, I left my platter because in person, this is more of a maroon red and not a red red. So it didn't compete with the, the greenery. So I just left it there and I really like it. Y'all just ignore the camera. I tried to disguise it the best I could, but it's just one of life's necessities. <laughs> this shelf, I have some thrifted flowers in my teapot a copper looking pumpkin, a beautiful vintage frame with a print. And I turned that book around. I'm not a real big fan of that look, but that book was just too blue. So I just kind of turned it around so it wouldn't be so blue. And that's why it's like that. This shelf, another pumpkin, some foliage. My beautiful little shadow box already has like a uh, pumpkin-y look background. I took down my red plate and that completed that shelf. And then for the very top, I just added some more fall green, uh, flowers to that, a little bit of that garland to tie it in. And that is how this bookcase looks. And to me, it just kind of all flows. It's not competing, but it just kind of all flows. That's how my eye sees it. And hopefully that's the feel that's coming across. Over here on my coffee table, I just have these beautiful candle holder that I thrifted, this cute pumpkin candy jar, candy dish. I usually have candy corn in. There's none in it right now. <laughs> and my beautiful urn on two vintage green books. And then these are the flowers that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, along with some of that garland, along with some of those thrifted uh, pieces from that big arrangement I thrifted and these were also from some thrifted plants uh, uh, that I thrifted as well which just kind of showcases my beautiful thrifted chicken pillows and the green velvet which ties in nicely with that green velvet busters over there under the blanket have to have a little touch of leopard print I love it he loves that blanket too and then above my couch, I just love this look so much. And then behind me by the door, I have this beautiful turkey thrifted print that I just put in this gold frame. And this is how the living room turned out for fall. <music> y'all that is my fall mantle for 2023 i love it i know it's not for everybody but for me i love it i just sit on the couch at night and i look at it and i'm just y'all haven't changed a single thing since i did it either i know who am i but i just love it i love everything about it and um now you maybe can understand why i kind of kept everything else kind of like on the dl didn't go as extravagant especially like over my cabinets and stuff because this mantle is the star of the show for fall 2023 in the Jackson household. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.